follow now on Twitter at DJ Beat Street. Hey everybody, DJ Beat Street here, and I am going to show you how to do a backspin in Ableton 9 using Max for Live and the Pitch Drop effect. In Ableton 9, you're going to want to select Max for Live. Head over to Max Audio Effects and select Pitch Drop. Then drop Pitch Drop on any track that you would like to backspin. For this tutorial, I am putting it on the master because I would want all of these loops here to backspin at the same exact time. After you've placed the Pitch Drop on your track, select here in your Automation Control Chooser, Drop Duration Time. Do not choose Drop Duration Beat Time, but Drop Duration Time. To get a crispy backspin, you're going to want to start at about 941 milliseconds and end over at 7.26 seconds. Also, if you do notice here in the beat time ruler that I've kept it pretty symmetrical and I start at the beginning of this dark gray area and I end just on the end of the dark gray area. Same thing if you start on a light gray. If I started here, I would end right here. Also, you're now going to want to go over to your drop activate. You're going to want to activate the track not directly on your anchor that you have put over for the drop time, but pretty close, as you can take notice. And let's hear how it sounds. Uh, when you're testing it out, at least give it a few bars uh, to get the uh, proper effect. Yeah, and that's about it. Any questions, comment below. Thanks.